and what is up guys it's Miss Credit Gamer here and in today's video I'm going to show you guys something that I get asked a lot of questions about and that is how do you get tiny task and how do you use it now, if you don't know what tiny task is it's a macro and what a macro does is it records keystrokes from your keyboard and it'll repeat that for you so basically I can go lay down in bed and have a program automatically using all my moves in the game that is how you level up your stuff in AFK like so it's mainly how I got all my stats up so let me skip on over to my screen here in my other screen and I'll show you guys how to get tiny task really fast really fast guys before we get any further into the video i'd like to ask you guys hit the subscribe button because only three percent of you guys are subscribed and if you like my content and want to support my channel in the description there's going to be two links one is for a roblox game pass you can purchase to help me out a little bit so i can fund more giveaways in the future and another one is going to be a, a link for you to donate at to also fund future videos for the channel because i'd like to do more giveaways and whatnot and make sure to join my discord server while you're down there as well because we do giveaways there all the time and yeah that's really it so let's get back to the video so obviously the first thing you want to do is make your way on google and you want to just look up tiny task all right you google that now there are a couple different websites you can get it from i get mine from this website right here and just to show you it's safe i'll go to virus total very good website to check if something's really bad you can go here search it and you can see it's very good the website's safe and then you come here and you click download no thanks continue to download tiny task you'll download it just give it a second look right here wait for it to download log notifications because we really don't care about that and as you can see up here it downloaded and it says two because I already have it downloaded once before. So it's just the same thing I have downloaded. So now that you've got it downloaded, what you want to do is open it from wherever you installed it at. So your downloads folder or wherever else. I'm going to open mine really fast. All right, and when you get it open, it'll look like this right here. So let's go to here first to the preferences. So what you want to do is you're going to want to set up your recording hotkey and your playback hotkey. I would recommend your playback hotkey. You could just do pause button at all times. So you don't really have to have a specific playback hotkey. So I would recommend recording for F8 so you can quickly record things. So you see if I push F8, it says recording at the top push f8 it's done and if i do like a cool little mouse movement and i click play it'll do that look at that so cool so if i'm midway through it so let's say i push play and i push pause it stops it so you can push pause on your keyboard to stop it so now what you want to do is if you want to record something you want to first like get in here i'd say pull tiny task over to another screen like i'm going to pull it over to my other screen right now push f8 and i see i need to record i want to do say i want to grind out fruit stats so i want to pull up my fruit look at the moves like in dragon you can use all your moves outside of a form and you still get xp for it so i need q e r f and t all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to push f8 you want to do this really fast or else your macro will take longer to do so and i would also recommend tapping these keys twice so tap q twice e twice r twice f and t twice just because sometimes the first hit won't register in game at least for this game it might on others so you have to test around and see if it's like that for you in other games i'm not 100 percent sure f8 to record q q e e r r f f t t and then F8 to stop recording. Then bring it back over right here. You see, I recorded it. You can click save to save it and you can open it another time. I'm gonna click play on my other screen. Come back here. I'm not touching my keyboard at all. You can see over there on the other screen that the moves are being used. All the little bars were turning, whatever. What I would recommend you do is go to preferences, turn on continuous playback and I'll try it. I'll play it one more time just so you can watch it happen. I'm not touching any keys on my keyboard right now. Everything's happening all on its own because tiny task is doing what i told it to do and if i just go ahead and push pause on my keyboard it stops now as for more advanced macros like having it go to a specific spot and claiming a quest running and killing a certain amount of enemies i have no idea what to tell you about that honestly i could not help you do that at all i couldn't do it my brain just couldn't handle that so i just use it for very, very basic things like there's using one attack like with dragon if you're up in the sky and you're looking down at some enemies just having the q ability recorded and just having it run like all night that's what i do i look down at a boss I'll macro me push a Q, I'll hit play, and this is how I'll macro the boss overnight. I'll just have it do that. It's easy as that, because this move has good damage, good AoE, good range. It's really good. And then you just push pause, and it'll stop. But yeah, guys, that is how you install and use Tiny Task in a One Piece game. Now, this also works for all other games. It doesn't have to just be specifically a One Piece game. It could be any other Roblox game. It could be actual other games. It could be anything. You just have to record what you want to record in it, and you can have it play it back. Very easy to use, not too hard to understand. And if you guys need more help, I'll make a more in-depth video on it later but that is all for today i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next video peace